everyone, and to the saints of the Most High God. You're now listening to the Whole Truth Program, coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Doctrine Incorporated, where Bishop Josie Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditations as we're led by Minister Ishmael. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we want to thank you for this day. We want to thank you for your mercy, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. Lord God, we want to thank you for waking us up this morning, closing our right mind. Lord, we want to thank you for a mind to call upon your name this day, Father. We want to give you the glory, my God. We want to give you the praise. My God, we want to thank you for your word. My God, we want to thank you, my God, for Bishop Joe C. Tears there. Father, we pray that I will bless his mouth this day, that it bring forth the words of life. My God, that we may live, my God, a holy life. Lord God, give us that mind to stretch out on your word, Lord. My God, believe it just as it is. My God, believe it, my God, that it may save us from this underworld generation, Lord. My God, bless those in darkness that they may see the light. My God, it may turn from darkness unto the light, Lord. My God, before we less than time is too late. My God, give them a mind, Lord God. Stir them up, Lord Jesus. Give them a mind to repent of their sins, Father. My God, give them a mind to be baptized in water in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we lie that there's no other name, my God, we be saved by but in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord, bless them, Lord, to call upon your mighty name until you fill their soul with the gift of the Holy Ghost. My God, we realize without your spirit, my God, we cannot please you. My God, we need your spirit today, Lord. My God, bless it, Lord Jesus, your word. Bless it, Lord God, even bless the saints of God everywhere in every condition, Lord. Bless them to hold on, Lord. Bless them to live a life before your holy and sanctified life right here in this present in evil world, among all men, Lord, that you may have all the glory. My God, we pray that I will bless kings, queens, governors, even the present United States. My God, we may live a peaceful and a holy life right here in this present evil world before all men. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that these blessings and all the blessings to the glory of God. Amen. Again, you're listening to the whole Truth Program. If you have any questions or comments concerning the Bible, you may mail your correspondence to the Church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale, Post Office Box 2017, Hartsville, South Carolina, 29551. You can also call our toll free number at 1 877 332 5661. You can also visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs and calendar events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.thechurchin.org. Special announcement. For the benefit of those of you who would assemble and are concerned about knowing how to save yourselves, we have this special announcement. If it is the Lord's will, Bishop Tisdale will be preaching at our church in Danville, Virginia, which is located at 4130 Mount Cross Road in Danville, Virginia, beginning on Saturday evening, May 3rd, through Sunday morning, May the 4th, 2014. Our service began on Saturday evening at 4 p.m. and again at 7.30 p.m and on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. All are cordially invited to be with us in these great spiritual services in the Lord. Now at this time, the call will render a selection entitled, Reach Out to Jesus.
And now it is indeed an honor to present unto you the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. We do give much honor and praises to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Again, we are coming before you to let you know about God. One only great plan of salvation to tell you the truth about it according to the scriptures. This is all that we have to go by. Man. And we thank God for allowing us to receive it. Mm -hmm. We do honor him and thank him for all of our listeners and viewers. Thank God for you tuning in. We pray God the word of God comes to you in truth. As the word of God said, the truth shall make you free. It's no lie in the truth. Amen. And the Bible tells me that the truth is in Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we go to him for all of our truth because it's in him. So we do greet you with love, joy, peace. Let it be multiplied unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I know no other name that I can talk about today that there's life in it, there's joy in it, there's peace, there's healing in it. Whatever you need for your salvation for eternal life is in Jesus Christ. And I thank God today that I am a believer in Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, Jesus says in the 15th chapter of the book of John, we look at the word of God where the word of God will cleanse us. Mm -hmm. And we understand that what Jesus says, we can begin at the first verse and come down. See, we have to honor the word of God. The word of God is right, people. Amen. And it's not wrong. I know you say you come on and you yap, 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 but you better believe it is the yap, yap truth. Amen. It's what God is calling for. Amen. And he's calling for his word. Mm -hmm. You have to realize everything happens according to the words of God. Isn't Amen. that? That's amazing, isn't it? Amen. What you see going on now is already written in the word. And you don't have to go any further than the word of God. But God has to lead and guide us in it. We Amen. just can't open it up and understand it on our own. That's right. God has to give us his spirit that we search the deep things of God. Amen. Which, by his spirit. And the spirit will tell us deep things about the Lord. Amen. All right. Let's see what it says, reader. John chapter 15, first verse. All right. I am the true vine. See, when I look at this situation about the church, I may as well go to Jesus Christ, who's the true vine here. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. And his father is what? And my father is the husband man. That's the spirit. Amen. Read on. Every branch in me. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit. You hear what Jesus is saying. He taketh away. All right. You say what he means. Does that mean an apple, a pear, a plum, a grape? No. That meaning you have to have the fruits of the spirit. That's right. And it's got to be a spiritual thing here. That's Is that right? right. Amen. Every branch in me that beareth not fruits. You better understand it. Amen. That meaning you sin it. You say, how do I know when I'm sinning? By the word. Amen. By the word. Amen. No man can come up here now with an excuse. Why? God has made him his arm bare to all nations. Yes, he has. You want to know how you're going to be with him? Search the scriptures, the Bible says. Mm -hmm. And then you think you have eternal life, which are those that do what? Testify, Testify of me. me. If you have money today, you're going to spend money. Is that right? When you don't have it, can you spend it? No. 
Amen. You may have a desire to spend it, but when you don't have it, you can't spend a penny. But when you have it, you can spend it, right? Amen. Well, when you have God in you, it'll witness for itself. Yes, it will. Is that right? What did it say here, reader? Give me the word. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he it, taketh away. That meaning you sin it. You know, God hates sin. Amen. I don't want nobody to have an excuse that they don't know what sin is. The word of God that lets you know what sin is. Man. And everybody that's doing it, read it, read it. Every branch that beareth fruit, he, excuse me, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. God going to take it away, read. And every branch that beareth fruit, yes, sir. he purges it. He purges it. That it may bring forth more fruit. Make you bring forth the fruits of the spirit. Amen. Something you need to live a holy life in mm -hmm, the Lord. Mm-hmm. You can't live it in by the flesh. No. It's got to be by the spirit. Got to. You, if you're not willing to submit yourself unto God's plan of salvation, you're not going to get it. Amen. You have to be a believer when you see what's going on. Surely. Here. Amen. Amen. What does it say, reader? Now ye are clean. You hear what the word say here? Through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now this is what cleanses us. Amen. The word cleanses us. Surely. How did the word cleanse us? It tells you what's wrong with you. That's right. Amen. And you stop it and you're being cleansed. Amen. That's, that's what the word means. Amen. That's and right. you're bringing forth more fruits, mm -hmm. meaning you're having more love, joy, joy peace, peace, long suffering, long suffering gentleness, gentleness, goodness, goodness, faith. Faith, meekness, meekness, temperance, temperance. Against such there's no law. Against such there's no law. This is this is all spirit. Amen. Is, is that right? That's right. It's gonna make you love people more. Oh yes, it will. My Amen. God, I thank God for the word of God. Amen. Amen. It's gonna make me love my brother, my neighbor, mm -hmm. as myself. Is that yes. right? Yes. Yes. Amen. People are trying to have any excuses. You don't have an excuse today. Amen. Well, God have to talk to you with authority. Is that right? Amen. God have to talk to you like he know what he's talking about. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. You don't expect God to be weak. 